joining us today for today's webinar. I am Bhokatika from TSI and I would be the moderator for this session. Today we are presenting the topic called Multiple ECB Tracing presented by Ashwat Bose. Just a little housekeeping before we get started. If you have any questions during the session, please click on the hand raise button so that you will be unmuted to profit with your questions. Now without further ado, we will turn time over to Ashwat. Our presenter today is a technical lead who has been associated with CSI for more than 12 years and its forte is CPF. Hi, uh, good morning. Uh, today we are going to uh, be uh, I've done on uh, multiple lead CV. Uh, in the GDBFG, we have an option to trace uh, maximum of uh, uh, 20 CV at a time and simultaneously uh, trace uh, maximum of I'll give a demo on GDWG, uh, how to trace um, multiple ECBs at a time. I'm going to connect a uh, test system. Uh, now, if the uh, system is starting to connect, uh, you could see uh, the system tab and uh, uh, actually there are uh, uh, three ways you can trace uh, a multiple day CV, both you trace, micro trace and uh, from I think you can trace a uh, multiple day CV. So first we will say uh, source you trace. So the source we trace, I'm going to log on of the segment. Testify. The TC file segment has been logged now. I'm going to trigger uh, application entry from the terminal ALC1. So entry trigger from the ALC1. So we see the gas in capture now. Now I'm tracing the uh, parent ACB. On the switch, uh, country. Now we is the track now. Uh, now if you want to trace a uh, child ACB. You have to associate you lost the uh, program which you want to trace, uh, which is created by Charlie. Now I accept into the uh, parent ECB. So the child ECB has been created. If you want to see the child ECB, you can uh, select the active ECB button. That will uh, list down the number of ECB on trace. You can select the child ECB.
if you want to trace the stair ECB, you can select the stair ECB and those steps that will trace the stair ECB. You can always, uh, you can also select the uh, parent ECB to trace, you can select the parent ECB and those steps that will trace the parent ECB. Now one more is child ECB theater. For the see the child ECB, you can select the active ECB list and select the child ECB. Uh, the same way I am going to create a support of uh, child ECB. From the parent ECB. Uh, also, you can uh, give the list of ECB by clicking uh, ECB list that will list down the uh, number of active ECB in the list. Uh, now, I have created a file ECB. Uh, actually, the file ECB has been active now. Uh, if you want to trace uh, the child ECB, you can select the ECB and those steps. That is uh, that will uh, trace that uh, ECB. You are, even you can switch the ECB just like uh, clicking the ECB uh, and those steps that will trace the child ECB. The same way you can switch uh, the ECB which you want to trace just by clicking on those steps that will start tracing that ECB. Uh, maximum you can trace uh, 20 ECB at a time. If you don't want to uh, trace the ECB, you can do run no trace. That will run the ECB. I'm going to turn all the ECB. Now um, I am in parent ECB. Oh, I can trace parent ECB. Now 
Now the size one will tell you to get the creator. That way we are creating a more easy bit. If you want to trace the child ACB, you can select the child ACB and those steps that will trace the child ACB. Now I'm going to run so run no trace. So it's just a TCB. That will run the ACB without trace. Also, you can do air uh, exit uh, on ECB that will exit uh, on the ECB. It's inactive. Now, if you would know the 
program which is created by child ECB, just uh, adding that, uh, just uh, do a source field of that program. That will uh, stop uh, on the ECB which fix uh, that program. Now I am going to trigger the entry. So the ECB that is the program that will be that. Now chat is in trap now. If you want to trace that uh, ECB, you can. Continue tracing that ECB or other ECB. So I'm now trace. That will make it that uh, ECB without. The other way you can start the ECB through asynchronous. If there is any external message coming to that system, want to trace, can set up the asynchronous uh, trace. I'm going to set up the asynchronous trace for the program uh, PSP5, which is uh, entry. Going to trigger the entry from the system. Now the ECB has been created, uh, captured by GA. Uh, you can continue trade. Uh, by source view trace or macro trace. If you want to do macro trace, you have to lock that program. From there you can continue tracing child ECB. Now the child ECB has been created. So to continue trace on the child ECB, you can select the child ECB and continue trace. I'm going to run the trace if you Now I'm going to run the direct ECB as well. There is a, uh, there are uh, option, uh, the GTP G option to trace the child ECB. Uh, there are three options. Uh, if you don't want to uh, debug uh, child ECB, you can select 
do not debug, that will not um, debug the child is being dictated by the entry. Now I am going to log those two programs. Why aren't that quick? I am clearly not getting the entry from the SEO terminal. I'm pressing the IPCB, which is TST file. Now I am in ground C, which will create a child ACB, but we have selected the option do not give us a child ACB, so do not uh, set the child ACB track. Continuing uh, pressing on that ACB. Now I will do exit the ACB. If you want to uh, raise uh, child ACB, you have to enable that option. And also there is uh, two more options. Uh, if you want to uh, raise a system created ACB, like uh, for example, the WC proxy will create a system uh, child ACB. If you want to trace those CCB, you can enable this option. If you don't want to trace, then you can disable that option. And there is one more option. Uh, for to access immediately, you can don't want to press immediately, you can enable this option. I will give you some. For the uh, entry, I am going to trace all the macros on the programs. Now I have enabled only Sandy uh, TV. It immediately, immediately uh, option. So it should uh, trace only the TCP data by the application program. Now I am so it's tracked down the source I am on logging the program. So run. The uh, entry feature uh, uh, six ECBs and the, the programs which you enter uh, for the application program uh, entry is 
tidak ada program konsumsi. If I enable the trade system EDB, this will uh, trade all the system EDB which is created by the macros like a uh, top speed. Getting the entry from ASC1 terminal, the same entry. Now you will see more than uh, 40 20 pay UCB later. Those are the ASCTS. On the same way, you can, uh, you can uh, enable the do not uh, proceed immediately. This will uh, create a dead ACB immediately. It's data phase 30. This is a parent ACB which creates a proxy. What a country. So is it a ACB? That's from the multiple ACB case. Thank you, Ashok. Uh, at least a gentle reminder to all of you, if you have any questions, please click on the hand raise button so that you will be unmuted to proceed with your question, or you can enter your question in the uh, chat box provided. Uh, Ashok, we have a question from Shajun. The question is, uh, please let me know the option which we need to enable to create a child ACB. Yeah, uh, the option to enable the child ACB. The GDPG option, you can select uh, create child ACB immediately. That will uh, create uh, the child ACB, which is created by the entry. Thank you. 
if you enable that option, that will trap the child ACB, which is created by that. Actually, there are five ECB for that uh, entry. All the ECB has been trapped now. If you want to trace, you can select that ECB which you want to trace. Continue tracing. Should I answer the question, Sajun? Ashok, it looks like we have answered all the questions. Uh, thank you, Ashok, for the informative session. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate you being here. A short survey will open up. You can specify topics for the upcoming webinar session. We will send you webinar follow-up email within a week's time, which will contain the link of this recorded session. If in case of any query, contact customer support executive or write to products info at cpsoftware.com. Thanks again for joining us today. And we have webinars followed on second Wednesday of every month. We'll see you next time.